Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Zach Detron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is kind of a war recap, but mainly going to be focusing on some of the uh, update changes besides witches, which were in the last video. We're going to be showing some dragon attacks, P.E.K.K.A., uh, Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 3 star uh, attacks, and kind of talk about how the updates still changing things. Uh, we'll continue to go through everything over the next few days, talking about the update, but this one's going to hit a few more uh, main things from the update that were changed um, and this is kind of in the form of a, re of a recap video you can see this one against chaos hammer was tied 85 85 came down to percentage there so good war to them uh, good war to genesis though we're getting back into things still and uh, it was a good performance you can see um, same thing for both just left three town hall tens uh, to start on both sides and they just had the higher percentage with a 99 there another 99 there i guess they deserved it because um, they were so close to a few of these three stars uh, so good war to them i this kind of a short recap. I'm not showing any of their Town Hall 11 bases just because um, I think they were concerned about their bases being put out there. So I'm going to kind of uh, curb this one a little bit and focus on just the uh, three stars of equal Town Hall levels. None of these uh, going up for the two stars or going down for the dips. So uh, out of respect to them, we'll just kind of keep it a little quicker here. But some of these attacks were awesome and uh, just need to be shown. One of them being a Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 three star attempt. Uh, this is Thor taking on number eight here. And I think the balloon buff may have um, brought the kind of um, this, the, uh, what is this called? The Bo La Luna attacks back a little bit at Town Hall 10. We saw them for a while. I thought they might be, you know, get pretty huge. They kind of went kind of iffy. We didn't see them as much. Um, Town Hall 10 seemed like it was in a pretty bad place, but this update, um, I did say it was mainly for Town Hall 11, which it is, but I think it might be helping Town Hall 10 out a little bit. We might be seeing um, a step towards a balanced Town Hall level, uh, which is definitely something nice to see. This attack, uh, just coming in with a few golems, the king, the queen, um, getting that one Inferno. And once again, guys, for those of you Town Hall 10 base builders, and I'm going to try to do some more base building videos uh, pretty soon. Soon. But just for right now, uh, you can see these spread out bases with the Infernos in different locations. Um, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, you can go back and watch my last Town Hall 10 live base build for the kind of base I prefer. But um, this base seems susceptible to certain attacks. The balloons move a little bit quicker. They're dropping the bombs a little bit quicker, um, especially with those hastes. Before, even if you had the rage or the haste, the balloons would stop. They'd take time to drop their bomb. Now they unload a little bit faster on the Inferno. And you can see the queen got that bottom Inferno just barely. So it uh, worked out there. Uh, from there, the other Inferno is down. He had a nice freeze spell uh, to keep it frozen while the balloons moved in. That last Lava Hound uh, pops actually just in time almost to get those Lava Pups for cleanup. His balloons are clumped up, but at Town Hall 10, that's kind of the least of your worries. I mean, at Town Hall 9, you can try to bring a few back-end uh, balloons, but at Town Hall 10, just having the opportunity to, to have a few loons to hopefully make their way through is enough. Typically, if you save some for the back end, you don't have enough to get through the base. So uh, it's kind of a tricky... A tricky situation there but you got to prioritize uh, when it comes to these attacks because it's still very difficult to three star at town hall 10 so an awesome attack to thor um this was a pretty uh, i wasn't you know close to being max but it was a i think a mid-level town hall 10 had those maxed out infernos i believe so uh it was definitely a good good attack good plan there let's go ahead and take a look at two town hall nines we have um next base here uh 13 this is Tom Bombadil, something like that. I wanted to show this one because it was dragons. And as you guys know, the dragons uh, received that buff in the update along with the P.E.K.K.A.s. Pretty similar for both those troops. They got a uh, boost in their attack speed. So overall, they don't do more damage if you kind of watch them over a long period of time. But they attack quicker, which is very close to a damage buff. Basically, most buildings, they're not going to require these huge amounts of damage, especially if you have multiple dragons on, on them. So attacking quicker makes them move more efficiently. They don't do any overkill, um, if you kind of understand what I'm saying. They move uh, quicker overall. And uh, this is a nice dragon attack. You can see he gets those air defenses. Uh, this base really um, gave those air defenses. And that's kind of one of those strategies. You can see he has all these archer towers and uh, all that stuff inside the middle of the base there to try to take out balloons and whatnot. 
but dragons have that hit points that balloons don't. He does use a few, a few balloons for that last air defense, which was a nice touch, but for the main part, he's using dragons because he knows he doesn't have any lava hounds that can really do much tanking for him. I think he had that one initial lava hound that's already, or actually it's still up right there, just for that one air defense, but he knows for the most part, um, the balloons aren't going to do well inside the base without lava hounds, but the dragons have a good shot because they have the, uh, the hit points to, uh, to be able to tank for themselves. So they move their way through the base. A nice heal spell there. Uh, he used a rage as well, a few haste. Just anything it takes to keep those dragons moving and uh, up at full health. Got through the base actually really easily. Still has like five dragons or six dragons almost. I think, I don't know if he lost a dragon. He might have lost one, but that's it, I think. Uh, so really crushed this base. A baby dragon in there working as well. Um, awesome attack to Tom. Let's go ahead and move on and take a look at one uh, P.E.K.K.A. attack. We saw um, we saw the new P.E.K.K.A. in a attack from the Witch video, the last video I uploaded, but um, we haven't seen them in uh, multiple numbers. And this one is uh, one of those classic, um, I forget what you call it. There's all kinds of names for it, but it has the healers, the P.E.K.K.A.s, the... Uh, uh, I think he has bowlers in the CC, a few Valks as well, and a few Hogs. It's kind of a grab bag attack, uh, really using a lot of these different troops. And I think that is underused. People don't, you know, take a little bit from everything, take the P.E.K.K.A.s, take the Valks, these powerful troops. Uh, Town Hall 9 is getting close to, you might be better off just bringing that power and kind of not worrying about the plan as much. And I hate to say that because we want to see well thought out attacks at Town Hall 9, but if you're doing, you know, and, and air attacks do work very well, but if you're doing a very, um, you know, a huge hog attack, you might want to reconsider what you're doing because it's just not as reliable as bringing these high HP, high DPS troops, especially if you have high level heroes. Now, if your heroes are a little bit lower level, you might have to use a little more finesse, but um, you can see Sub-Zero has the 25s, which is high enough uh, to try to use one of these powerful attacks. The peck is moving in, the bowlers moving in. By the way, people ask uh, what to bring in the CC if you can't bring bowlers. And I would say on most attacks, either max Valks if you have access to that, or a max Pekka. You probably don't have access to a max Pekka, but uh, maybe some type of Pekka or some type of Valk. Really, it depends on what your clan has. Um, if they have one troop maxed out but not the other, you should try to bring that max level troop. Uh, to give yourself the benefit of having that, but it just depends for this specific attack. Probably Valks or Pekkas are your best bet. But anyway, the Pekkas, it's not you know hugely noticeable, but I think it does make a difference whether you notice it or not. They do move a little quicker. Now they're on the outside of the base, so it's harder to tell. But they are gonna um, when they're inside the base, they're gonna swing faster, which is very important for when they get caught up on like a skeleton trap or. Um, a builder's hut or something that doesn't require all that damage they're able to do. Something they can one-shot regardless of how much DPS they have, really. That's where you'll notice the speed of the P.E.K.K.A.s. And uh, they, they have a lot of hit points. They're really tanking at the, uh, tanky at the end of these attacks. Uh, the Queen's going to kind of be needed to, to finish off the space. But they're doing a great job tanking. And uh, only level 1 Expos, so that does make it a little bit easier. Uh, not, not Probably not the, the best attack, but it just shows even if things go kind of weird, the P.E.K.K.A.s leave the base, which sometimes they do, um, often they do actually, uh, you still have a very good shot at the three stars, so nice attack to Sub-Zero. That'll do it for this video. Once again, good war to Chaos Hammer. A lot of ex-OHG members in there, I believe, so uh, it was definitely fun to go up against them. Just kind of going through here, yeah, I think they did. Um... Yeah, some of these uh, I can, uh, yeah, some of these are definitely from OHG. So nice job to them. Very close war. Came down to that percentage, which it can in some circumstances. Uh, but yeah, sorry for the no mini tip today, guys. Uh, I've just, I have family over. It, yeah, I didn't think I'd be this busy, but I am. And uh, I'm working on that Clash of Clans Christmas poem. Should be out soon. Stay tuned for that as well as some more videos. I'll see you guys in the next few days, sometime tomorrow probably, by Sectatron out.